It's really quite unique to have murals that are this old still intact because Calgary is a very young city, a very creative city. We're very progressive. We're a great creative burgeoning city, but we often tend to look at things that are recent or not really old as things that we can erase and put something new up. And that's a challenge for us as historians because it's really time that tells whether something has staying power or not. And things need to reach a certain age before we start to look at them with new eyes. I love these murals because of the sense of optimism that was in them, that was in that time. And I think we're, we're in a very similar time right now. They represent the different aspects of SAIT's programming at the time, the different industries that millinery, for instance, which isn't a, a big industry in Calgary now, and things that were very much part of life in the 40s and 50s. They, they represent all of those different faculties that SAIT had in the beginning in its early days. They represent student life in the athletics. I mean, there may be, there may be athletes in those murals that I don't recognize as being prominent athletes from Calgary's history. That wonderful sense of optimism, which is, is always what the um, graduating classes um, address is about, is that burgeoning period of newness. You've got these skills, now you're going to go off into the world and do them. But looking back at these murals, we, we should recognize that those artists that came out of the programs here went on to become very significant players in the Calgary art scene. So what you do now here as students wandering by, look at these murals and cast yourself forward in the future to think what you can accomplish as a young person going forward or as a, or as a newly trained person going forward. Combine that with a sense of optimism and I think, you know, anything is achievable.